So I normally I have my opening talk when I'm just driven out of Meningi and bought my first coffee here. But today I thought I'd, I'd try and do a different one. I'm, uh, I'm standing outside the bakery over there, I'll show you in a minute, and looking at the main road, and that's Adelaide behind me there, and um, Kingston going that way. And they've changed the parking arrangements here in, in Meningi. And somebody's gone absolutely nuts. And so there, there are white parking bays everywhere you look. And it's caused a major, the, the locals are very unhappy about it. Um, because you, you can't just park casually the way you used to. So what I've done is I tried to park, I tried to park here and then ended up going in to the bakery behind me there and parking in there. Um, it seems crazy, but anyway. So I'm about to, uh, today is the 4th of July, American Independence Day, and it's um, 11.45 in the morning, and I left home at about 9.30, and I'm on my way down to the block, so I'll see you when I get there. Cheers. There we go, there's my vehicle parked, and there's the famous Meningi Bakery in this little courtyard here. And I've just bought myself a pie, and I'm having a sausage roll, with sauce and I've got a coffee, not a nice coffee, an ordinary coffee to drink once I get on the road again. So here we go, cheers. <clears throat> it's still uh, the 4th of July and I'm halfway between Meningi and Kingston uh, and I said I wasn't going to do an opening spiel in the car this time and I haven't. But I have to tell you that I bought the sausage roll and the pie in Meningi and guess what? I put them on the roof of the car while I was loading up and then forgot them there. But fortunately this time I remembered and about 20 meters along the road driving along on my way out I remembered my food on the hood, pulled over and recovered it. It hadn't fallen off yet. So now I've made the resolution I'm never going to put anything on the hood of my car. See you later. It's 3.32 in the afternoon of the 4th of July and I've just been weeding. I've been, I've been up and down all around weeding and I've got some good news. I managed to unlock the old lock and get it off the chain. Remember it was full of sand from last time? So the un old lock is off and there's a new lock on, new keys, all organized. So I'm very happy and I'm also happy because I found my phone charger. I thought I'd lost it and I found it in one of the boxes here. So. And then have a look at this for an amazing sky. I'll follow that line across the sky. Look at it. There it goes right, it goes coming from the west all the way across to the east. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? So presumably that means a change of the weather because it hasn't rained. I expected it to rain today and I almost didn't come down but obviously on on that side of the line is one thing and on this side of the line is another thing and it's not moving very fast it's all almost like waves on the beach so it's been absolutely lovely I started off feeling very scratchy but it's been absolutely lovely over here and then if you look towards the north there's a bit of clear sky up there so something's happening and it's not moving very fast, but the forecast for tomorrow is rain. I'm going into Kingston now to do a bit of hardware shopping. I'll see you later. It's uh, quarter past four on Wednesday the 4th of July. And look how beautiful and calm is the sea. I'm looking west. And you can see this just the uh, setting sun, well not setting sun, but the low sun over there with this, this incredible sky that I spoke about earlier, which kind of, it's like the sea itself, it's just lovely. And I'm up on the platform and it's always a relief to get down here and find everything's nobody's broken in and everything's as it was and there have been no major disasters. And as I told you earlier, um, you know, I've managed to clear the locks and I've got a new lock and I've given the neighbors their lock back again. So everything's restored. I found my phone charger. So I started off, uh, I nearly didn't come down. And uh, it's turned into so far, touch wood, 
it turned into uh, I feel I feel very optimistic and happy so you should never um, not do stuff because you don't feel good at the time it, things can always turn turn for the better and once again um, in this sort of late uh, well midwinter afternoon light um, you can see the block and the caravan and so on all just as it was before and my little tray my bird watching tray is fine I'm gonna do some bird watching in the morning um, I might get up early at sunrise and do some bird watching and I'll talk to you then meanwhile I'm going I'm going to I've got something to eat and I've got a book to read and when the Sun goes down that's it so the Sun won't go down for an hour or two so I might go for a walk I'm on my walk I'm sorry I can't resist the sky have a look at those rolling waves of cloud in the sky I've I've taken a walk into an area I've never been in before it's sort of near the boundary of our places over that way there on the road I've never walked here before um, and here's one of our friends or two of them actually this is a box thorn, African box thorn and I'm starting to think that there, there are too many of them on this place and I might have to do something about them do you see the vicious thorns on them you don't want to get tangled up with these things they are, I've mentioned them before, they're nasty so just an, a day of remarkable sky just look at that I've been on my grand walk and it's taken me in a great circle and I finally ended up at a very familiar spot at the Bob and Inez bench and as I speak to you the drops of rain are beginning to fall on my head so I can't linger so there underneath this protective cover is the Bob and Inez bench and Bob and Inez's ashes are underneath this bench and this is the view that they have of the sea and the sound of the sea but now unfortunately I have to walk briskly back to the caravan because the rain is increasing good morning good morning on the 5th of July at 8.38 as you might be able to see <laughs> it's not raining heavily but it's overcast and drip drip dripping I'm sitting underneath the platform which is uh, relatively waterproof um, there's a plastic sheet on the platform to protect it so um, I had a reasonable night I, uh, I woke up a couple of times for a leak of course and fortunately it wasn't wet it didn't get wet outside um, and slept from I think I went to sleep at about 10 and woke up at 7.30 so it's not bad I'm going across to have coffee with Tracy next door and then I'm off home again, so I'll see you just before I leave. Goodbye. Makes sense. Oh, well, nice to uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. imagine that curiosity there. So the first day I was filming, you were like the rest of us going, oh my god, oh, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I was just like, no, I think it's actually. Oh, yeah. Well, one of these days I'm going to run off the road doing this. Um, good morning, 5th of July, about quarter past 10 in the morning. I've just uh, tidied up. Uh, gone across to the neighbours, put on the new lock on the gate, uh, given the neighbour the key, she had a coffee with me, and I'm on my way home. So, as you can see, it's not raining heavily, but it's raining and overcast. Um, Till next trip, goodbye. Look at that, all those plants collected down at Kingston, and here is a post trip, a postscript to my trip down to Kingston this time. To see, I rushed back and bung these into, into the pots and sorted them all out. All of them are weeds. I've got the wrong kind. So that was only a minor disaster, although I did this when I got home I was in the rain. But the major disaster, the major disaster was the fact that I had a coffee with the neighbor and said goodbye, jumped in the ute, didn't have to go back to Kingston because I'd filled up on the day before. 
and then whizzed through to Meningi and said, right, I'm ready for my first coffee. Looked for my little man bag with my wallet, my phone, my book, everything in it. Left behind at the neighbor's place. So then I was halfway home and I had to decide whether I doubled back and went back to fetch it. But she's an air hostess and she's coming up to Adelaide. She was coming up to Adelaide this afternoon. So I thought, look, I'll just, I'll just race home and try and phone her and say, bring my stuff up with you. She said she was coming up in the afternoon. Well, that changed the whole journey. No coffees, no... <laughs> uh, you know, when you, when you get into such a bad situation, you, you have to try and stay calm, but you feel sick in the pit of your stomach. My phone, my wallet, my notebook, the book that I'm reading, everything in that one little, little man bag. So fortunately, when I got home, I phoned around and uh, Tracy, who's the neighbor, air hostess, has phoned Bev to say that she's bringing it all up and we can fetch it this evening. So, ends well, but a lot of heavy stress. So, this definitely is the end of the 4th of July trip. Bye now.